my God, my adored one, my king, my desire. What tongue can voice my thanks, voice my thanks to thee? Baha'i communities across the United States are joining together to find ways to redouble their efforts to meet the goals of the five-year plan. In the southern region, home of the country's first A clusters, the friends came together to celebrate the spirit of enterprise and the atmosphere of learning. The regional council is extremely happy to have the opportunity to speak about the progress of the five-year plan in the southern region. In Nashville, Tennessee, the Blazing His Name conference sponsored by the Southern Regional Baha'i Council began on the Day of the Covenant. All in attendance were saddened with the news of the passing of the Hand of the Cause of God, Ali Akbar Furitan, on this same day. The conference was dedicated to his memory. As it is always in our history, joy and sorrow embrace each other. He had fulfilled his longing to serve the cause to his last breath. A love for the cause, a determination, and a joy for this service. And he always made us smile to make the burdens lighter and to give us a perspective about what we do. So let us smile together in thinking about this soul who would dare suggest that he stands beneath our shadows when in fact he is the giant and he is the hero. The conference was organized like a regional reflection gathering and demonstrated what our community should strive to be. A children's village gave a vision for the inclusion of young people in our communities. A forum for local spiritual assemblies allowed members to learn from one another, and ample opportunity was provided for individuals to reflect on local success. Discussions were centered on the five-year plan and the two movements that are at the heart of this learning atmosphere, the steady flow of believers through the sequence of courses and the movement of clusters from one stage of growth to the next. The conference also included addresses from members of the Southern Regional Baha'i Council, the National Spiritual Assembly, and the Continental Board of Counselors. We're beginning to witness the emergence of a culture of growth. Presentations specifically address the core activities in their applications to our new culture. We will use those study circles to train new habits of thought and new understandings about the faith. And we will use the devotional gatherings and the children's classes to fill our spirits with the love of the Lord and the love of each other. Because what will keep us together is the integrity and the strength of our habits of thought, our habits of the heart, and our habits of behavior, because they will all be oriented toward the spirit and the glory and the law of Baha'u'llah. That is what we mean by emblazoning. This conference is testimony to this emerging new culture of growth because it is so very youthful. It is youthful in two respects. It is useful in the, youthful in the youth and junior youth who are here in great numbers, and that's so encouraging. This. It is useful in the, the youthful enthusiasm that has infected cluster after cluster. The region's outward-looking orientation welcomed hundreds of seekers to the conference with sessions tailored specifically to their needs. The premise underlying this conference, the premise underlying all the teachings that we are involved in, is a realization that all of humanity is moving towards Baha'u'llah. All we are doing is just paving the way and removing obstacles for them. Focusing on the five-year plan, conference participants were able to come to a greater understanding of how to successfully implement the guidance from the Universal House of Justice and the National Spiritual Assembly. By emphasizing Baha'u'llah in our daily lives, we can refocus on the source of all of our guidance and intensify our teaching activities.
At the end of the conference, hundreds of participants made specific pledges to achieve the goals of the five-year plan at home. The conference attendees returned to their lives with a call to action in their hearts. One group traveled back to Texas and ran into opportunity. Just outside of Nashville, their adventure began. Everybody was so excited about having been at the conference. It was an adventure because the tire of uh, the bus exploded and everyone just kind of froze. It was on a decline, so the bus was just going down and we were a little bit nervous. The bus was sort of veering to the right and the left and finally stopped on an embankment on the side. And there was a lot of traffic coming by and the bus would be shaking as the traffic would go by at 70 miles an hour. So we were all coming down, helping each other down this hill, you know, if not you're going to roll, roll down because it was kind of a little bit steep. While waiting for the bus to be fixed, they found out about another problem. We later found out that the brakes failed as well. After the tire was changed, the group traveled to a location where the brakes could be replaced. While waiting for repairs, many of the youth started conversations with fellow customers at the stop. Those six hours, they decided to turn this into a, a more teaching-oriented event. While waiting in line to pay for their meals, the Baha'is met a man who was receptive to Baha'u'llah's message. He was so excited, and he told us, actually, that his, he saw us when our bus broke down, but kept going. So I told him as a joke, you owe it to us to come to the bus where everybody is on and, and um, say hello. And as soon as we mentioned the Baha'i faith, he just, this man, looked at us and he said, Baha'is, I've been looking for you for a very long time. The new acquaintance joined the Baha'is on the bus for a short prayer. Their steps by the light of thy knowledge and cheer their hearts by thy love. It was wonderful to be able to actually say the name of Baha'u'llah. For so long, we've been really talking about the tenets of the faith, the social teachings, the spiritual teachings, trying to somehow say, well, we believe what you believe in, and this is how we are exactly like you. And here it was an opportunity for us to say, here is the individual, here is the center of our faith. So refocusing on the name of Baha'u'llah allowed us, I think, through the conference itself to re-experience that personal connection, which is really at the center of our faith.